guys and welcome back to my new DVD update on the 11th of January 2013. Um, I hadn't done an update since October because I stopped DVD collecting in the run up to Christmas. Well, slowed it down a little bit. And uh, now that Christmas is over I've got to get a few more DVDs. A couple of these I did get before Christmas but uh, it's also my birthday tomorrow as well so I try to abstain from getting too much because I might get them for my birthday. So yeah. Anyway, so um, I've got quite a bit to show you. So I'm going to try and do it all in one go, um, rather than do it in two or three parts. At first, I try and get it all in one go in a 20-minute thing. So without further ado, we'll start off with a little Disney uh, DVD update, and it's all DVDs. There's no Blu-rays, unfortunately. Um, I will be getting more Blu-rays. Uh, eventually but yeah these are all DVDs at the moment so first off we've got Hocus Pocus which I mentioned back in October and I didn't get it um, at the time it didn't arrive in time for Halloween which was a shame but never mind ended up watching it elsewhere that's Hocus Pocus um, the next Disney DVDs I got uh, were from the Disney Movie Rewards, so that's nice, I got them for free. The Princess and the Frog, which I started watching uh, a little while back and I wasn't too sure at first, but um, after hearing so much about it, so many good things about it, and I, I'm loving the main, one of the main songs that I've heard, and it sounds really good, so I want to give this a proper go. So yeah, that's Princess and the Frog. And next is Tangled, another one I haven't seen yet, but I'm really looking forward to watching this one. I've heard so many good things about this movie. Um, I was a little trepidated in trepidation about this one because it's in uh, computer animation rather than the classic animated like Princess and the Frog, but and I don't think it should be classified as Disney classics it's in as number 50, The Prisoners in the Frog number 49, along with, I'm not sure if you can see it from over here, but all those Disney classics numbered, it's uh, number 50. But yeah, anyway, I'm looking forward to watching this one. And there's the back. So yeah, that's Tangled. And Disney Nature, African Cats. This one's still sealed as well. Still got to watch this one. Looking forward to it. I love anything to do with nature, as you probably already know. So yeah, that's African Cats. And let me just go down to the floor and get my next pile of DVDs. Just a second. Okay, so now we'll go on to my other movies that I bought recently. Next up is all eight uh, movies of Harry Potter. Um, I didn't get the box set DVD or the Blu-ray box set mainly because they don't contain as many special features as I would have liked um, and I know they would have been probably cheaper but I just had to get the uh, movies individually they don't take too much space and uh, so yeah um, first up is the Philosopher's Stone oh, there's the slip cover for it but I had to take it out because it's so hard to take out with the camera in one hand I'll just show you inside. It's a really nice set. The first two movies. There's this one. And this two. And you get um, the scene selections there. Scene index and some gorgeous artwork in the back there to show you lovely image in the back there so that's the Philosopher's Stone and next up Chamber of Secrets also got the slip cover for that as well nothing special just the same uh, picture and this is a similar set to the Philosopher's Stone that it comes out like this there's the scene index 
disc one and disc two with the special features. I've seen the index there. And it comes out with a nice image there and just the description of the movie. So yeah, that's those two. And then the rest come in the normal uh, cases. Prisoner of Azkaban. They're all two disc special editions. I'll just quickly show you this one. So it just comes like that. Here's the back. I don't know if you can quite see. My camera isn't the best. It's a bit out of focus. There's the spine. Goblet of fire. And there's the back. Order of the Phoenix. Now this comes with a, a really nice slip case. Really nice and shiny. I really enjoyed this um, one, but it's not my favourite out of the eight. If I had to choose uh, my favourite, it would have to be the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, and Chamber of Secrets ties with it, I think. So yeah, they're, they're my two favourites out of the whole eight uh, movies. Yeah, really nice and shiny. That's that one. And then the Half Blood Prince, which I just got this morning. It is two discs. There's the back. So I'm not really uh, saying much. There's nothing much to say about Harry Potter other than that it's awesome. So, and Deathly Hallows Part One. It's the only one I haven't seen yet. Again, nice uh, slip cover there. Still sealed. And Deathly Hallows Part Two, which also comes in a nice emboss. The Harry Potter there is embossed, which is really nice. So yeah, that's all eight Harry Potter movies. Nothing much to say about them except awesome. Um, okay, so next up we'll go on to some more movies. And first off is a DVD that I've had for quite some years now. And I had completely forgotten to show you this. <coughs> and it's back home. This is a 2001 ad adaptation TV movie of Michelle Magorian's book, Back Home, of the same name. Um, and obviously Michelle Magorian's books are all based um, pre-war or just, just after the post-war, um, the Second World War. And this is based just, um, just uh, after the Second World War. And it's about this girl who moves um, back home um, from America, where she was evacuated to um, for fi after five years. And uh, is just trying to adjust back into English life with her mother and her little brother that she hadn't met. And yeah, it's a really good adaptation. Um, the other night I watched um, the 1990 version with Hayley Mills as the mother, Peggy. And I can't remember, oh, it was Hayley, someone else, that um, played Rusty. Um, this one here um, is Jessica Fox, played Rusty, um, of Hollyoaks fame, and also she was Enid in The Wells Witch. Oops. So, yeah, this is a really good movie. Yeah, really worth watching this. So that's that one. Uh, next up is if I can get it off 10 Things I Hate About You with uh, Julia Stiles and T. Fledger nothing much to say about this movie except I love it and had it on my wish list on eBay for quite some time so finally managed to get it this is the 10th anniversary edition so yeah that's 10 Things I Hate About You 
Um, next up is a movie that I haven't really seen, um, but I think I remember watching parts of it on when it was on TV some years back. Um, and this is The Delinquents with Kylie, Mo Kylie Minogue and Charlie Schlater. Um, this is a movie that I generally wouldn't be that interested in, but it sounds like a really good one, so um, let me just read this out. All their lives they were told they mustn't, they shouldn't, they can't. One year they did. Adolescence, the time when teenage friendship boils over into adult desire and the time when Lola Lavelle, Kylie Minogue, in her first starring role, meets a boy called Brownie Hanson, Charlie Slater. Too young to be together, too in love to be apart, Lola and Brownie's obsessive passion for each other breaks all the rules laid down by their parents and society. Quickly branded as rebels and defiant troublemakers, they'll be forced to f face the hardest punishment of all, separation. But no person, no law and no institution will ever keep them apart. To Lola and Brownie, their f the first love is the only love there is. So yeah, sounds really good and I really love Kylie Minogue. Um, I've only seen parts of her in Neighbours back in the day. Um, not back in the day, I was too young to watch it back then, but um, I think parts of it, you know, as I got older. Um, and of course I know Charlie Schlater from um, Diagnosis Murder. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching this one. Uh, this is obviously f um, Australian import, um, got from eBay, it's re in Region 4. I've got a region free DVD player, so I won't be able to play that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the delinquents. Um, next up is Superman the movie. Nothing much to say about it, except after Smallville ended, I started to get really desperate for some other things to do with Superman, and I finally watched it on TV um, shortly before the end of 2012, and. Loved it, of course. And this is the three di four disc um, extended di special edition. Um, just to read the special features out. Uh, disc one contains the original 1978 theatrical movie with soundtrack remastered. Uh, commentary by producer Pierre Spengler and executive producer Elia Silkind. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> um, theatrical trailers and TV spot. Disc 2 contains the 2000 expanded edition movie with commentary by director Richard Donner and creative consultant Tom Mankiewicz. Don't have to pronounce that either. Uh, music only audio track. Disc 3 includes three documentaries, Taking Flight, The Development of Superman, Making Superman, Filming the Legend and the Magic Behind the Cape, Restored scenes, screen tests, audio only bonus, additional music cues, and disc 4 con um, contains vintage TV special, The Making of Superman, the movie, 1951 uh, movie Superman and the Moleman, starring George Reeves, which is really cool to have, uh, nine 1940s Fleischer Studios Superman cartoons mastered from the Superior Vault elements, be interesting to watch. I've never been that interested in the cartoon versions. Um, Superman the Mechanical Monsters, Billion Dollar Limited, The Arctic Giant, The Bulleteers, The Magic Telesco the Magnetic Telescope, Electric Earth Ecle uh, Electric Earthquake, Volcano and Terror on the Midway. So yeah, tons of bonus features on there which is absolutely awesome and you can't go wrong with the original movie with Christopher Reeve, definitely not. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, second is the sequel, Superman 2. And this includes the uh, Richard Donner cut. Because um, he was the original director for the sequel, but Richard Lester took over. Um, and I did see Superman 2 on TV um, shortly after the first one. And I really liked it again. It was a great sequel. Yeah, um, not quite as brilliant as the original but uh, still a brilliant sequel and uh, yeah um, this contains three discs so I'll read out some special features 
Um, no, it doesn't say much special features there, but the, uh, oh yeah, it does. Um, it concludes commentary, um, audio commentary. It includes in disc two, Vintage TV specials, The Making of Superman 2, and Superman 50th Anniversary. Uh, new featurette, First Flight, the Fleischer Superman series. I'm guessing that might be the same as on the first one. That's a bit silly. Um, eight 1940s famous studios Superman cartoons mastered from superior vault elements. I'm hoping they're the different ones to the ones in the first movie. Uh, Jupiter's Showdown, Eleventh Hour, Destruction, The Mummy Strikes, Drun Jungle Drums, The Underground, the Underground World and Secret Agent. Yep, they are different ones, that's alright then. <laughs> and the, uh, the Superman 2 Richard Donner cut includes Introduction by Director Richard Donner, Commentary by Richard Donner and Creative Consultant Tom Mankiewicz and New Featurette Superman 2 Restoring the Vision and there are also deleted scenes as well. So yeah. That's the second movie. Superman 2. And then of course, you may have um, heard around that I've been uh, watching Lois and Clark recently when I started back in... Oh, it must have been November now, I think I started watching. I'm on season 3 now, but I uh, finally got uh, all four seasons of Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. I love it because it's so 90s. It's an absolute uh, classic, and I love, love, love Dean Kane and Terry Hatcher as Clark and Lois. I think they have fant had fantastic chemistry. This series ran from 1994 to 1997, if you didn't know already. So this is season one. Um, they're all still sealed. I probably won't um, open them up and uh, show the disc inside. But uh, yeah, um, special features. We've got retrospective documentary from Rivals to Romance, the making of Lois and Clark, behind the scenes featurette, taking flight, the visual effects of Lois and Clark, Clark. commentary on the pilot by Dean Kane. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of special features there for the first season. That's season one. Then we've got season two. Again, a few special features worth watching. Season three, which is the season I'm on at the moment. I'm on episode, I think I'll be on episode seven tonight. Uh, what else has this got? Uh, special features, Lois and Clark, A History of Romance, The Man of Steel Trivia Challenge, hosted by Dean Cain, that'll be quite interesting. Um, Look Up in the Sky, The Amazing Story of Superman, it excerpts from the new documentary produced by Brian Singer and Kevin Burns, which will be very interesting as well. So yeah, that's season three. And of course season four, which I'm not going to try and spoil myself too much about. Because I'd like to keep myself spoiler free for the next season. Um, oh, there isn't much special features for season four. Just an international hero trailer. trailer. That's interesting. I hope there are more than just that. But, anyway. Well. So, yeah, that's season four. A real shame it only lasted for four seasons. Um, apparently, it sort of ends on a relatively sort of cliffhanger. A fifth season... I think a fifth season was ordered, but uh, they never made it. I think it just got cancelled or something. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, really good. Some cheesy moments here and there. Of course, it's a 90s show, 90s budget show. Of course, it didn't have a um, huge budget like Smallville did, and the special effects are very 90s. The relationship between Clark and Lois is absolutely awesome, and the chemistry between and the chemistry between oh, I can't speak. The chemistry between between Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher are, um, that was absolutely awesome. So I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, I'm really glad I got that to go with a sort of a Superman theme today. So that's that. And 
and finally I'll just reach down this is a childhood classic of mine the Beatrix Potter collection this is a BBC DVD that was broadcast um, sometime in the mid-90s I think um, it includes classic drawing animations of nearly all of Beatrix Potter's books and it includes The Tale of Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny, The Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies and Mrs Tittlemouse, The Tale of Tom Kitten and Jermaine Puddle Duck, The Tale of Mrs Tiggy Winkle and Mr Jeremy Fisher, The Tale of Mr Todd, The Further Adventures of Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny, The Tale of Two Bad Mice and Johnny Town Mouse, The Tale of Pigling Band and The Tale of Samuel Whiskers or the Roly Poly Pudding and of course The Tale of Gloucester. So yeah absolutely awesome to have as in my collection because it's a childhood favourite of mine um, again it's still sealed I haven't even opened this up yet so I don't think I'm going to bother to try and open it with one hand so um, yeah so that's it that's all my DVDs to show you today on the Friday the 11th of January 2013 and uh, I shall hopefully try and do another update, not quite so uh, further apart, so maybe in a month or so time. And yeah, so thank you for watching and take care. Bye.